I'm Jacob Hepner, a four-time CrossFit Games athlete. I'm trading in my barbell for new skills and experiences to see if I really can be the Jacob of all trades. All right, we are out here at KC Pet Project in Kansas City. We're gonna go in, find out what they're all about and what they do for the community. We are a nonprofit that runs the city shelter for the city of Kansas City, Missouri. So we still provide a city service, but we are a nonprofit doing it. So it's a what we call a public-private partnership. Okay. And we get some funds from taxpayers uh, that help us with operations, and then the rest of our operations are covered by donations from the public. So what are we doing today? We are going to show what it's like to volunteer at an animal shelter and show all the ways that people can get involved in Help KC Pet Project. Our goal is to run every single available dog out into the yards every day, and we need volunteers to help us run these dogs from here so, to there. Hey! Yeah, I, this yard's probably the best yard to This one looks like a wolf. I hear you're the, the dog matchmaker. I am the dog matchmaker. Why do they end up here? Some of them are strays, some of them are cruelty, um, some of them are brought here because the people are wanting to give them up. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I think I find my dog. <laughs> I appreciate your time, man. Yeah, Thanks Thank so much. This is just cool passion, dude. Yeah. All right, Matt, it was good to meet you, dude. Take care. This oh. is our small dog room. So small dog baby room. We actually have one dog down here that's available. The rest of these guys aren't quite yet available for adoption. Well, oh, can you go into detail what you mean by not available? So we take in all the strays for Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. So we get in around 30 new animals every single day. 30 a day? 30 a day. <laughs> it's a lot. Wow. And we have five days to have an owner come and reclaim them. We're trying to, you know, communicate with owners. If there's a microchip, trying to get information on sure. the chip, trying to see if there's any tags. Most of the animals come in with no collar, no tags, nothing. Yeah. And so it makes it that much harder to get them back home. So anybody with a yellow card that you see in here is still on stray hold. Can I open it up and pet Peanut? He's a little scared. It's okay. Yeah, we might not want to. Okay. Oh, That's no. okay, Peanut. Sound a little scared. Maybe, That's okay. maybe next time. <laughs> Someone has a hold on her. So she's so. she's on the orange diet. Someone's eating her. Yep. Or, or, eating, eating her. her. Wow. Someone's already purchased her. <laughs> or had well not purchased her, they have the option of purchasing yes. her. Oh, just a stray. Mm-hmm. Oh. Little pit bull puppy. Little pit bull. <laughs> You, now you're asking yourself, man, Jacob, you have the most awesome fun in the world. You get to play with dogs in the morning. We're jealous of Tori. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, big guy, we're gonna put you back. I can see why someone wants you, though. So, okay. there you go. So this is just providing some stimulus for the cats every day. And so, <laughs> guys, I am not a cat person. I know, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> okay, so do you guys get more cats that come in or dogs that come in? We actually, ah, nice one. right now we're getting, we're placing <laughs> about six to 700 kittens in foster every month. Uh -huh. So that's where a majority of our kitten population, cat population is coming from right now, or is that a lot of kittens, which we'll go in and see the kittens. Gotcha. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna reel one in. So we're gonna go through the big room with the dogs. So walk me through what that is, like what it looks like, what's the purpose of it? One room, 200 dogs, there's a dog barking at you as you're walking by. That's usually not an indicator at all of what they're gonna be outside of the kennel, which sure. is why playgroups are so great because you got to see dogs being dog. For us, it's trying to make a connection with the people who are coming to adopt, finding out what their home is like, do they have any other pets, what they're looking for in an animal, and then us matching them up with somebody. is That's a good fit for them. Yeah, we have an open air laundry room basically. We have one washing machine, one dryer for the entire shelter. And we're washing blankets, um, surgical towels, uh, of the hammocks that, that we put in the cat kennels, and then just general toys and beds sure. and things like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Today I'm going to make you a lovely treat of what's it called? Dog treats. Dog <laughs> treats. Lovely dog <laughs> treats today, okay? Oh, that looks like an Oreo. So we'll start with the Nylabone for this one. Okay, Nylabone. Mm -hmm. 
And we're gonna take your knife, Okay. dip it in the peanut butter, and we'll just spread it on there. Okay. And we'll do, I think, just one side. One yeah, side? Just one side. More. More? Yeah. Is it like a, is it like a one for me, one for the? <laughs> <laughs> so before I started working here, okay. um, I worked at a company that the company came out and did like a volunteer day. Okay. Um, so this was the job that I did. Like oh, we, you we made treats for, like me. Yes. Yeah. So this was my first volunteering experience here. Was doing these treats. Okay. So your passion, something you're passionate about? Yes. Dogs or cats? Yeah. Any any animal? Either. Either. I am more of a dog person, but I love cats too. Yeah. Count it. I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, did oh, boy. Yep. And then dump. Now, when I start stacking, because I already have dried dog food, uh -huh. it won't stick. So if you had to make a menu, what would this be on the menu? What would you call this one? We got good. Pe <laughs> good. What'd she say? Good. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. Peanut butter. Okay, well, what's this one? Better? I mean, it's got bacon on it. This is probably the best thing I've ever, ever made. <laughs> So we're gonna walk custard, as in the ice cream. Walking custard. Custard's got a lot of horsepower, not gonna lie. A lot of dog power. I'm gonna show you how to clean, so I'm gonna clean this one, and then I'm gonna have you do this kettle next. So you're choosing the cleaner one? Yeah, I'm choosing the cleaner one. She's choosing the cleaner one. Sorry. We good? So basically you're just gonna spray it. Any surface area you see, spray it. Yep. Hey, uh, have you done this before? That's what I thought you haven't done it yet, have you? Also, She's been sprayed. That little thing has been sprayed down. Okay. You're gonna take one of these scrubby pads, and you're gonna go in and you're gonna scrub it. <laughs> okay, so what do I do with the poop that's just sitting there? Am I just scrubbing the poop around? We're gonna go in and wipe it, and then respray it, and then re-wipe it. Okay, okay, okay. Tracking, tracking. Clean scrub. Oh no, no. The things you do for love. Go in with a clean towel. Clean towel. And wipe all of that out. Okay. So all, then, anything that's wet. Yeah, so once everything is out of that, we're gonna respray it with Excel. Okay, check. I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Hi, the Sistine Chapel. It was painted really well, but I cleaned it up. I think it looks pretty good. Did I do a good job? Yeah, you did great. You could literally eat lunch off that floor if you wanted to. Like straight up. All right, so Tori, tell me why you're so invested, why you love KC Pet Project. Well, for me, it's been really exciting because I came in literally in the third month of the organization and I've been able to be here from the very beginning, really knowing what we were like when we first started, where nobody knew who we were, uh, nobody knew about the work that we were doing mm -hmm. here. And for me, I've been able to get to tell the story of KC Pet Project over the past seven and a half years and really just highlighting all the good work that we're doing here, all the pets that are looking for homes and how the community can get involved. All right, so volunteering here mm -hmm. at KC Pet Project, tell me like, what's the best way to do it? When, what's, when's a good time to show up at any time and what's like, what do you need? Well, for us, we really wanna make it easy for people. If they wanna get involved, if they wanna volunteer, they go on our website, kcpetproject.org slash volunteer, and they can get started directly on our website and go from there. What do you think I enjoyed the most after this trip? Oh, probably hanging out with cats. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe making the dog treats. The dog treats is yeah. fun. Hang yeah. out, doing the dog treats, the play park, is that what it's called? Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, groups, with the wolf, yeah. the wolf dog was pretty fun. Yeah, that okay. was really fun. You know what I enjoyed more than I thought it was gonna be was hanging out with cats. Yeah, there yeah. you go. At first I was petrified. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in volunteering at places like this that are just obviously super miserable to volunteer at completely, um, we'll have some information in the description below on how to volunteer at local animal shelters. Other than that, thanks for watching guys and we'll talk to you guys later.